Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about some of my witchy book as books I have. Okay, let's start. Let's start with these. It's uh, Keywords to Tarot by Haro Banzhaf. This is German edition. Uh, I've seen it in English too. It's a really good book. It goes, it uses the right away tarot deck and it uh, gives you around 20, 25 different spreads uh, you can use. Uh, for tarot decks and uh, the coolest thing about this book is that the meanings uh, come as keywords so you can you know get a reminder open the book see what it says and not having to read a lot of tons of pages in order to understand what the card means and uh, the meanings uh, are there are meanings about different situations like uh, what, it gener what the card generally means, what it means if you ask something about your job, a relationship, uh, your spiritual health, um, everything. And it goes through the whole tarot deck. And there are also um, combinations of the cards and different things, the story of the tar of tarot. Um, yeah. It's a really good book, great book on tarot. Another tarot book I have is Tarot Simple and Easy by Barbara Moore. This is the Greek edition. It isn't as deep as this one, but it's really cute. And uh, I love how she, uh, she explains, she, she explains sorry, uh, each card. It's like uh, talking to a friend, uh, giving you advice about how you should... Uh, you know, react in different situations. It's really nice. It's a really good book. Another great book is Predicting the Future. This is a Greek edition, but there are books uh, like this in all languages. The cool thing about these books is that you uh, get to know a lot of different uh, kinds of divination. For example, this book uh, talks about tarot, I Ching, astrology, geomancy, numerology, uh, dreams, runes, uh, divination with crystal balls, uh, and different. It's it's nice. It's nice for someone who starts now learning about divination and wants to find out uh, how he can or she can predict the future. Uh, those books are really good. You know, you can find your own uh, the best way who, which suits you best. Uh, to predict the future. Now this book uh, I wrote myself. It's called Lenormand Opens Her Cards and it's about the Lenormand deck. Uh, I love the deck and I decided to write a book in Greek uh, about this deck and I also created a, 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 tar a, a Lenormand deck to accompany the book. What I'm really proud of, you now I, I go through each card and uh, what they uh, mean, if some cards mean when they, if they fall together. And I'm really proud because I've uh, made some spells, uh, sorry, some spells uh, you can use uh, in different, uh, in all the Sabbaths. A minute, I'll show you. Uh, for example, here's the spread for Soin, uh, Yule, Ostara, uh, in bulk, sorry. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about those spreads. Yeah, maybe. I'm really proud of this book. Next, I have Everyday Sun Magic by Dorothy Morrison. I bought it as an ebook and printed it. Um, it's an amazing book. It talks about how you can use how you can work with the sun on your rituals and casting spells. You don't have to work only with the moon but you can also work with the sun it's amazing it's a really cool book um, I have to thank Wicca Gem for introducing this book uh, that's how I found out about this book it's an amazing book I recommend it to everyone and you will be amazed uh, the sun works wonders uh, another book is Symbols by David Fontana. This is a Greek edition again. 
uh, it doesn't go really deep into the, s uh, the meanings of the symbols, but uh, it's, ama it's an amazing book. The artwork is amazing. It's a really beautiful book. There are a lot of pictures and color. Uh, yeah, I mean, wow. It's All I can say is wow for the pictures, for the layouts. Um, it goes into different categories of symbols. Yeah, it's it's amazing how beautiful this book is. It isn't really deep, but uh, you can still learn a lot from this book. Yeah, moving on, I have this little book, the Magic Book, by John Le Breton. This book is a divination tool, and it's really cool. What I mean. There are some questions in this book. You choose a question. For example, I choose question number seven. Then you close the book, uh, get to this uh, symbol, close your eyes or use a pendulum, and then choose a symbol. For example, here I chose the moon. Go back to your questions. Find question seven. Go back here into this table, qu find question 7, find the moon, it's page 52. You go to page 52, find the moon again, and here's your answer. Simple as that. How cool is that? It's an amazing book by John Le Breton. Then I have the good spell book. I've made a video about it. It's about gypsy spells. It's really a really beautiful book. I, I really love this book. Used it. Um, everything so far has worked. I mean, it's amazing. Watch my video I've made about this book if you want more information. Now, then I have two Greek books. Book of Magic 1 and Atatikos Kiklos, written by Marame Maridi. They come only in Greek, but they are spell books. Uh, they, uh, they are amazing. Uh, they they uh, include spells uh, which is used back in uh, Smyrna, today's Smyrna, when the Greeks l still uh, lived there. Uh, the spells were found in the Book of Shadows of this woman, Katina, who also had the Desta cards. I've made a video about those cards. They are, these books are amazing. Packed full with spells. Explained really good. Um, yeah, rituals. This book also has uh, herbal information on herbs and how to use them. And then of course spells, potions, uh, powders. Yeah, they are full of uh, and last but not least, there's a, a, a book I have on uh, magical beings. This is a Greek book, but you can find one like this in all the uh, languages. Uh, if you're interested in uh, mythology or magical beings, then get a book like this. You can learn a lot. There's a lot of information about those beings, and I really like it. I mean, we hear about those uh, magical creatures in stories, fairy tales. It's really nice to know uh, what they really were. So, yeah. Okay, those were my books. If you are interested in f and want me to make um, a, a video about some books, don't, uh, ask me. Just ask. And I'll do one. Yeah. Take care. Blessed be.